Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca and today we are going to look at lizard skins and how to apply it to a hockey stick. So the package itself just is pretty straightforward. It comes with this little piece here that goes over the top of the stick, the grip itself, and instructions. Which basically just, yeah, they, should, they do a decent job of showing you how to do this and put it on. One thing they do tell you to do is put electrical tape at the bottom of the grip itself before you apply the bottom piece of grip to keep it on. So we have electrical tape here for that. And since I do this for all the products, especially that go on stick, I'm going to just do a quick uh, showing of how much th this weighs, just so you get an idea of what it will add to stick on the top. So as you can see, 12 grams, not a lot. Um, you could also cut it down if you wanted to, to get less of grip there, but I'm gonna use the whole thing. And so this is the first time of me actually making this or putting this on, so please give me a second if it's not perfect. Also, they cost $16.99 Canadian, and that's on the higher side of tape grips, and it's like, it's in between butt ends and tacky mac. Um, so when I actually do the review, that will come into play for that. But this is just initial installation and how to install it. So let's begin. So since I recently got this Warrior Alpha stick to use and review, I'm going to put the tape onto this stick. So the very first part is you take this top cap piece and you place it over like this. First you gotta remove the tape, but I'm just showing it off. So there are thicker parts and thinner parts, so obviously you have to line it up with the stick itself. So I'm gonna do that really quickly. And I will fast forward some of this stuff, just that so you don't actually watch it, um, but you'll get the idea. And you just fold over the edges like so. And close it all off. So there's our top wrap. Now it doesn't sit perfectly on there, but it's pretty good. And I'm sure it will be covered up once we add our next layer. So we'll move on to that. So Lizard Skins comes with this cover. So you just have to pull it off. And it will come in like two separate pieces. This piece is for the bottom where you can write your number, anything on there. And this will cover off the electrical tape at the bottom. So we'll leave that for now. And then it comes with, as you can see, it's kind of on an angle. Now the good thing about lizard skins is that you can put tape underneath the skin itself to actually get the pattern you want. So if you like the cane grip or swirl like that, you can do that on there. Similar to how sniper skins allows you to wrap tape on it first. So what I'm gonna do is make a butt end with this bad tape, just like my goalie sticks, and just make a small butt end because I do like that a little thicker uh, grip at the end because on these instructions, it just shows how to do it flat. So this will be a little bit different there. And again, just because I have personal preference of I don't like a flat butt end, I like it to be a little bit thicker. All right, so now we have the tape at the top done and so that's about pretty comfortable how I would like it. So now we're going to wrap the lizard skins around it. So the first thing you have to do is obviously take off the backing. And we're gonna do this not all the way right away but just at the beginning. Now it tells you to line up uh, in this direction where the flat piece is at the very top. So we're gonna do that. And then it wants you to overlap about a quarter of an inch. And it says do not stretch, uh, stretch the tape. So we won't be doing that. So when you do tape hockey sticks, you usually stretch the tape to make it flat. So we won't really be stretching this tape, rather just pulling it down as we move along. So, I will, I am gonna stretch it just a little bit just to try to get it to lay flat. But again, not nearly as much as we do for hockey tape. And I'm not positive this is about a quarter of an inch overlap, but for me, I like, I won't mind the extra padding on that the overlap will give me. So I'll keep using it that way. I'm just going lower and it does bunch up a bit when you do break that from the top layer to the next. So I'm gonna try to flatten that out a little bit when we get as we move down there. And this stuff doesn't stick 
bad enough where you can't remove it as you can see because I'm just trying to get this to line up slightly better and not make it overlap as much. Now if I didn't do this butt end it would be a much smoother process and it wouldn't have as many ripples on it but I do like, like I said before, I do like a butt end. The one I guess unfortunate part to to this compared to competitors is that you do have to do some work for it in terms of actually wrapping it whereas the other one you just slide it on and it's good to go but this one does give you more customized ability because of that and so now we're just slowly making our way down the, the shaft Now that we come towards the end, you'll see that tapers off, so you just want to pull it uh, straight and flat. And again, you could have cut this shorter so it wouldn't be as long. But for me, that wasn't really an issue. I like the grips this length. And so there we have it for the grip itself. So that's all finished off. It is pretty flat. There's a little bit of uh, like sponginess to it but not bad again it would be flatter if i didn't have the butt end there but i like butt ends um, so the next thing we're going to do is apply the electrical tape which will just take a normal strip off the electrical tape itself wrap it around once and then apply the finishing tape now i'm not sure if this electrical tape is totally necessary they do, do say to put it on the instructions so i'm doing it for the instructions um, but i Okay, I have a feeling it would stick anyways. This just makes it stick a little better. And if I can do that straight, which I didn't do at all, it would be helpful. So close enough. Rip that off, which is sometimes a pain. Sorry about that. So we have the electrical tape applied, as you can see. So next we apply the bottom grip. And first we have to take the tape off and just wrap it around the electrical tape at the bottom. So I'm just gonna start at the widest point just to make sure I do get all of it covered. Just gonna pull it around. Now it would probably be wise to put the tape part on, or the white part on the side if you actually wanted to fill that out, but I don't really care. And finish it up there and wrap it around so it's pretty good, it's not the best right there but hey it will do what it's supposed to do and that's holding pretty good now the one thing i'm surprised at kind of is how the grip comes down like this because your hand i think would slide down more than up and that was my problem with the tennis grip where my hand would do this and it would basically roll over these edges all the time so if you started down here and went up i think it would last longer for that um, but this is like fine uh, we'll see how it works i've seen other people with this tape this grip and they haven't had issues with it. So hopefully I won't either and I'll get to use this today. And so that's it for how to install lizard skins on your hockey stick. Again, it's pretty customizable so you can do it any way you want. And I'm using it on this Warrior Alpha stick. Thank you for Warrior for sucking me VIP. And anyways, that's it for the video. Leave any questions below if you have them. There will be a full review of this in the future. You'll first see a butt ends and tacky mac review though. And then this will come after that. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hate to do this, but it helps you get more product so I can do reviews. So remember to subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, on Instagram. Both of those will be shown up here and links in the description as well. And that is it for this one. Thank you for watching and take it easy.